While Ireland's borrowing costs going up dramatically, this is as a result of the Greek fallout. We are partnering now with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven Bradford joining us now live from London. So, Richard, why are we looking at Ireland today? Is it justified? It's almost a, a sequence, isn't it? We looked at Portugal on Monday, and I Ireland is the next of the so-called pig economies. That's Portugal, Ireland, Italy, Greece, and Spain. Why we're looking at it is because the yield on Greek government 10-year debt has blown out. It's risen to 5.4 percent this morning, and that's about 250 basis points above the German bond rate, which is the benchmark within the eurozone. To so Ireland's we're looking at credit, it because, though, Richard, haven't they enacted some austerity measures? Yes, I mean, I've, I've, I've said this all along, that Ireland has, if you like, taken all the harsh medicine necessary. And in fact, last December, in its, its previous budget, it, it cut salaries of uh, civil servants by between 5 and 8 percent amongst the lower paid. So it set an example for other, other Eurozone economies to follow, and it gained a benefit at the time. But now people are worried about the consequences of a broader default. Unjustified fears, I think. This is going to have to be a bailout. It can't be allowed to become a default. Richard, we thank you as always for your time. Richard Stoven Bradford joining us there from the FT from London.